Hello guys, welcome to Omocha Reviews. So today we're just going to have a quick uh, discussion of Kotobukiya's recent uh, reveal to us Zoids fans for the remainder of the year. And as you can see, I'm in the website of Kotobukiya and boom, there we see a Geno Breaker set for November 2020. So this is basically the Geno Breaker repackaged version. Uh, this is uh, pretty much expected among the Zoids uh, HMM collectors community because they did a repackaged version for the Berserk Fury and the Genosaur. So if you've seen my video, I, I did a video on the Genosaur repackage. But we definitely did not expect this will come out this year. And it's really exciting because November 2020, we're gonna have a nice Christmas treat here. And this is really relevant because the Geno Breaker is one of the most expensive kits uh, that you can find right now. Uh, so as you can see, I'm showing the product description here. They're basically saying that each part has been updated for a wider range of flexibility, meaning perhaps we're gonna get a good uh, articulation for it, but who knows? Uh, I'm showing here the Japanese page because uh, going back to the price, as you can see there's the price there, 9,200 yen. That's roughly below $100 uh, US dollars. So it is a really big deal because the Geno Breaker, uh, the, the existing Geno Breaker kits right now are at uh, $200 to $300 if you're getting the Raven version. So it's really really great for us collectors on the budget and for those who want an updated kit. So other things that they're saying here, uh, it's practically the same kit that we're gonna get, but we're gonna get some additional clear parts here, particularly clear uh, eyes. And that's really pretty much what's the, the gimmick going on for the uh, repackaged versions, as I've uh, demonstrated in my Genosaurer video. Here are the model specifications. So it's pretty standard here uh, it's pretty much the same as the Geno break previous Geno breaker kits but I'd like to point out here that we're gonna get a, a flat a clear part to attach the Geno breaker to a flying uh, new flying base so this is my Geno sorry package video as you can see this is the clear part that basically connects uh, the kit to a flying base I don't know if that's exciting for you guys, it's really not for me because uh, I'm not the type to put such a massive kit on a base and have it suspended midair. Because I think, yeah, I think giant kits like the Geno Breaker and Berserk Fury need to be uh, planted firmly on the ground. But yeah, pretty much we're gonna get a cheaper Geno Breaker here, a cheaper and slightly updated one. Hopefully they fix the uh, issues here because according to many owners of the previous Geno Breaker kits, there are a lot of articulation and connection issues on this kit, especially uh, on the pincers and the uh, backpack, the boosters of the Geno Breaker. So I hope they fix a little bit of that. I'm not hopeful though because uh, when I when I assembled the Blade Liger AB this year, it's pretty much the same kit as the previous uh, Blade Ligers. But yeah, I'm just really great uh, grateful that we're gonna have a significantly cheaper Geno Breaker kit uh, if you compare it to the Raven version and the other version. So this is uh, the decals that Kotobukiya published in their website. So they slightly updated it and added a few things. Now I'm showing here guys the Iron Kong. We're already in the subject of uh, Zoids for 2020. So this is one of the rarer kits that you get, uh, that will get in 2020. Uh, if you're uh, interested in buying this, this is a massive kit, bigger than the Geno Breaker. And of course that coloration of white makes the Zoid ultra rare and it gives it more appreciation over time in terms of its value. This one here is the D Bison, so Thomas version from before. We're gonna get a repackaged version of the D Bison. Again, what's uh, important here is we're gonna get this cheaper because they're they're new. So that, that makes them cheaper from older versions. And here, many people are excited about this kit. This is the Lightning Sykes, and it's one of the most cheapest uh, kits that uh, uh, Kotobuke is gonna be releasing this year. I think this is under $70 if I'm not mistaken. So many people are really excited for this kit, especially since the uh, uh, previous Lightning Sykes models are really expensive, especially the Irvine uh, Custom. 
And I'm not sure if you're into this uh, anime here. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really updated with it. But we're gonna get a Wild Liger also. Uh, HMM Wild Liger. I'm kind of disappointed that they jumped immediately to this uh, the this series when they haven't really focused on the other Zoids, uh, particularly in Genesis and Fusors. But yeah, cool that we get this nonetheless. So going back to the Geno Breaker, really really excited for this. I already had a. Uh, I already made a down payment to get it, so I hope you guys would consider to expect a video in Christmas season on this, the assembly and the guide. Uh, really excited and yeah, uh, really thankful for Kotobukiya for having a repackaged version and releasing it this year. That's all for today guys, see you next time. Goodbye.